Hey guys, what's up? Pokizam here, and in today's video, I'll be talking about Alon's Charizard versus Tobias's Darkrai. In this video, guys, I'll be talking about the Pokemon's win rates, um, some of the cool wins it got, and yeah. And I'll also be giving my final predictions like who will win if they fought one on one. So let's just get right on to it. First, let's talk about Tobias's Darkrai. Tobias's Darkrai's win rate is 97%, and through the series, Darkrai learned Dark Pulse, Dark Void, Dream Eater, and Ice Beam. Those are the four moves it learned through the course of the series. And also through the series, the only loss it got was against Se Ash's Sceptile. First, guys, I'll be talking about the battle Tobias' Darkrai had with Ash. The first Pokemon Ash sends out is Heracross, and Tobias sends out Darkrai, of course. Heracross didn't really do too much. It used a Hyper Beam, and then Darkrai countered with an Ice Beam. But that didn't really do anything, because right after that, Heracross lost pretty easily. Then Ash's second Pokemon, he used Torkoal. Torkoal really didn't do anything. It tried, but then one shot from Darkrai and it lost. Just like that. The third Pokemon Ash used was Gibble. And Gibble is the only Pokemon that actually got a clean hit on Darkrai. But also used a nice Draco Meteor that Tobias's Darkrai really liked but then eventually lost the battle. Ash's fourth Pokemon is Sceptile. Sceptile is the one that obviously got the famous win, and yeah. It was a real close battle, but Ash's Sceptile did win it. But it's fine, because Tobias' Darkrai already took out three really strong Pokemon. Or somewhat strong. Then after Tobias' Darkrai beat Ash, then made it to the finals, won that, and then won the whole Sinnoh League tournament. And now I'll be talking about Alon's Charizard. But before I do, I asked you guys on my community tab, who do you think is stronger? And these were the results. Out of over 9,000 votes, 64% of you guys said Alon's Charizard, and 34% said Tobias's Darkrai. And for YouTube polls, that's pretty close because a lot of people change their votes by seeing which one's winning. So that's how you know if it's still 35 to 64, it's still pretty close. But for me, I think Alon's Mega Charizard is stronger than Tobias' Darkrai. It will be a really close match, really, really close match, but I think Alon's Charizard will win. And I'll explain later in the video. But for now, let's talk about Alon's Charizard. Alon's Charizard's win rate is 87% with 20 wins and 2 losses. Well, it's actually 3, but Groudon doesn't really count. And most of these wins came from the Mega Evolution Special Series. Alon had his own series for a little bit. And that's where he got a lot of wins. Megas after Megas, Elite Fours, and all that kind of stuff. Some of the wins Alon's Mega Charizard got was against Mega Garchomp twice, Mega Houndoom, the Elite Four, Karina's Mega Lucario, Mega Heracross, Mega Venusaur, Mega Pinsir, and yeah, and more. And the only loss it got was against a really powerful Pyroar and Mega Blastoise. Also, and I also want to add this in that Alon's Mega Charizard is really, really strong. It won the Kalos League just like Tobias won the Sinnoh League. And Alon's Charizard also could beat some really strong legendaries. For example, Tobias' Starcry. Um, it even stopped. Zygarde, 50% form. So yeah, Mega Charizard is really strong, 
and yeah and it's definitely on champion level for example in the mega evolution special Alon's Charizard fought Steven's Mega Metagross and that battle was really close it was about to end but then Lysander came to the middle and stopped the battle but Alon's Mega Charizard did get a bunch of clean hits and yeah and through the series Alon's Charizard learned Flamethrower, Blast Burn, Steel Wing, Dragon Claw and Thunder Punch. Those were the five moves you learned through the series. I love Alon's Charizard, but I'm not just saying he's stronger just because I like him more than Tobias' Darkrai. I'm just saying for full on power, I think Alon's Charizard will win. Because when Heracross battled Darkrai, it barely did any damage. And then when Torko battled, it didn't even do anything. Gibble's the only one that got a hit, but that's it. So basically Sceptile, it was basically Sceptile versus Darkrai. And obviously, Ash's Sceptile is not stronger than Alon's Mega Charizard X. Comment down below what you guys think. I'll be reading a lot of comments. And yeah, I want to know what you guys think and who do you guys think will win if this battle ever happened. But I still think this is going to be a really, really close battle if it ever happened. Like, I mean really, really close. I think Alon's Charizard will use the same amount of power it used for Ash Greninja when that battle happened. Also, I think... Tobias' Darkrai was at 80% health when it fought Sceptile, so that means a full health Sceptile, and it still lost the battle. But if you look at Alon's Charizard, he can probably beat Ash's Talonflame, Ash's Gudra, Ash's Noivern, and those three Pokemon are stronger than Heracross. Gibble and Torkoal and I feel like Alon's Charizard will still be at like 90% plus but yeah guys that's just my opinion thank you guys so much for watching this video please subscribe if you are new like this video and share it with your other friends that love Pokemon and other than that it's been Pokizam and I'm out peace